So the reg reg so the reg <laughs> so these are uh, road signs that are offensive. Char. <laughs> so it tong sign na to. Yo, what's up mga shorty and welcome back to another vlog. And today, ang ating uh, topic is about the road traffic signs and pavement markings. So, <laughs> bakit ko ito naisipan na vlog? Kasi, uh, I've been driving, yeah, we've been driving along the highway, in the inner streets, sa uh, main streets, and uh, ano sa lahat ng roads, type, type of roads. Pero may mga napapansin kasi tayo, mga kasama natin sa daan or mga nagdadrive din, nakagaya natin, na hindi marunong magbasa ng iba't ibang mga signs sa daan. So, naisip po tong vlog na to and hopefully kung uh, na-engganyo ka sa title nito is uh, mag-enjoy ka sa panunood ng ating vlog. So, itong vlog na ito, hindi ko sinasabi na I am an accredited lecturer from the Land Transportation Office or the LTO but I'm just sharing with you yung mga researches na nakita ko sa internet. And this is one of the most reliable sources na nakita ko since this is from the DPWH 2012 Road Signs and Pavement Markings Manual. So, makikita nyo siya online yung PDF book niya and I will put the link in the description box para makita nyo rin mismo yung PDF file na pinagbasean ko nitong presentation ko sa inyo ngayon. So, this vlog will be cut into seven parts. So, hindi dahil gusto kong marami kong vlogs na iba na ako naiisip ng vlog <laughs> pero dahil, syempre, hindi ko naman pwedeng i-push sa inyo yung mga information all at once. So, we're going to cut this into seven parts and as you can see on the presentation beside me. So this will be uh, a seven part vlog. So gagawan ko rin siya ng playlist uh, sa aking channel and these seven parts are the regulatory, warning signs, guide or informative signs, signs on expressways, traffic instruction signs, hazard markers and road work signs, and the pavement markings. Ayan. So, yan yung seven na parts ng ating vlog. Okay? And I hope na mag -e enjoy kayo at the same time is matututo kayo sa mga uh, signs on the road. Disclaimer lamang, uh, hindi ito yung seryosong informative vlog na makikita nyo. Uh, minsan maglaloko tayo. <laughs> Pero syempre, yung topic and yung mga information na ibibigay ko sa inyo is true and accurate. And, kung may mga bagay na hindi ko nasabi uh, during this vlog, you can comment those things down below. Okay? And kung may mga mali ako nasabi, you can also comment those things na mali ko nasabi in the description box below. Let's start with the regulatory road signs. Okay? So, the regulatory road signs are signs that inform road users of traffic laws and regulations which, if disregarded, will constitute an offense. Okay? So, these are uh, road signs that are offensive. <laughs> so, these are road signs that are punishable by law and you can be uh, given tickets by the Department of Public Safety of the different local government units themselves. So, first is the priority signs with the very famous stop sign. Okay? So, a stop sign is a traffic sign designed to notify drivers that they must come to a complete stop and make sure that the intersection is safely clear of vehicles and pedestrians before continuing past the sign. So, within the stop sign, no parking within 6 meters from the intersection. I-explain ko mamaya sa inyo kung ano yung differences ng stop sign, giveaway, and yield signs. Okay? And 
yun yan. The next one is the yield or giveaway or in Tagalog is magbigay daan. So, the yield or giveaway sign indicates the merging drivers must prepare to stop if necessary to let a driver on another approach proceed. A driver who stops or slows down to let another vehicle through has yielded the right of way to that vehicle. Okay? So, ito yung difference ng giveaway and stop sign. So, it's a stop sign. Uh, meron man o walang vehicle on the intersection itself is you ha you are required to stop. Okay? And then, sa giveaway naman and sa yield is uh, you can go into a slow motion approaching the intersection and if it is safe to cross the intersection and if the, the other vehicle from the other lane stops, then you are being given the chance to pass the intersection. So, ganun yun. Okay? So, sa stop, requirement na mag-stop ka. As in, full stop. And sa giveaway naman, required kang magbigay ng daan doon sa unang papasok sa intersection. Next one is, left turn must give way. Okay? So, alam naman natin na yung left turn is sila yung tatawid sa intersection. So, sila talaga yung magigive way if ever na may mga sasakyan pa na papasok sa intersection which are not turning left or right. Kasi kung magte-turn ka ng right, free-flowing lang naman yung mga right turns. Kasi liliko lang naman sila doon sa side ng intersection na hindi makakaharang sa ibang traffic. This is the sign for left turners which must give way. Another one is the direction sign. So, these are the signs which indicate the only directions in which the motorist is obliged to follow. So, what are the different direction signs? Madali lang naman to, okay? So, this one is vehicles may pass either side. So, this sign means that you can drive from either side of two sides to get to your destination. Sometimes kasi, may mga barriers within the road na maghahati sa mga motorists. Pero if you see this sign before the barrier, meaning pwede kayong dumaan on this side and pwede din naman kayong dumaan on the other side. The next ones are the two-way signs, the keep left sign, the keep right sign, all traffic, all traffic to the left, all traffic to the right, Merging traffic, one way to the right and one way to the left, and no turns straight ahead. So, these are the different direction signs, okay? So, kung nakikita nyo itong mga signs na to, meaning kung ano yung tinuturo ng araw, yun lang ang pwede nyong daanan as motorists. These are the other signs for direction signs. So, sa lubong na trapiko, meaning... Uh, there are incoming traffic from either side of the road. Right lane must turn right. Sinasabi dito is if you are on the right lane of the road, you can only turn right. And ganun din naman yung isusunod which is left lane must turn left. Yung na nasa left lane, left lang ang pwede nilang pagturnan. At hindi sila pwedeng umagaw ng daan from the vehicles on the right side of the road. The next regulatory signs are prohibitive or restrictive signs. So these are the signs which indicate the only directions in which the motorist is obliged to follow. The first one is the no entry signs. So the no entry signs is to be followed by all vehicles. So, either motorized or non-motorized vehicles. If you see this, no entry signs, meaning hindi ka pwede pumasok doon sa road na yun kasi it's either it is being used or nire-restrict lang ng local government yung road na yun to be passed on by different vehicles. The next ones are no cars. No jeepneys, no buses, no trucks, no bicycles. So these are the different signs for 
specific type of vehicles. As you can see, you can see a car on the first uh, sign and then a, an icon of a jeepney, an icon of a bus. So the icon of a bus has two headlights on each side. The icon of a truck is on sideways. So you can see the big rectangle on the back of the uh, front car. And the icon for bicycles is explanatory. Some other signs also include no motorcycles, uh, no tricycles, no vehicles with trailers, no animal drone vehicles like kalesas, and no push carts like uh, dirty ice cream vendors. Another prohibitive or restrictive sign is the no pedestrian crossing. So this means that pedestrians are not allowed to cross the roads so it's either there is an, uh, an available overpass or there is an available pedestrian lane for pedestrians to walk on to pass the road another restrictive sign is the use of overpass or the use of pedestrian crossing if you can see the first icon on the presentation it is telling you to use the overpass at all times and the other one in the middle is to use the pedestrian crossing at all times and do not walk on the road without the pedestrian lanes. Then the third one is bawal tumawid gamitin ang overpass. Basically, it's also telling you to use the overpass. Another set of signs is the no right turn or no left turn signs which gives vehicles the information that they are not allowed to turn right or left. On the road, you can see naman sa mga road signs na ito if you cannot turn left or you cannot turn right. Usually, if you cannot turn left, the road sign is on the left side of the crossing. Para kapag magte-turn ka, before ka pa magte-turn ng left, makikita mo na yung sign na yon at mapipigilan ka na nun para hindi mag-turn left. Ganon din naman kapag sa turn right. Nasa right side naman siya ng crossing or ng intersection para pag mag-turn ka ng right, yun yung unang sign na makikita mo as a driver para hindi ka na hindi ka napapasok dun sa road na iyon since that is either a one-way street or a street that should not be passed by vehicles. Another road sign is the no U-turn sign. So these are signs which tells vehicles are not allowed to make a U-turn. Maraming no U-turn sign along Govantes Dike. Pero minsan, may mga drivers pa rin na hindi sinusunod yung no U-turn sign doon sa part na iyon ng Vigan kasi wala namang nagbabantay na enforcers and masyadong malayo yung next na U-turn slot for drivers kaya nila nilalabag yung batas na yon So next time na dadaan ka sa mga roads na merong no U-turn sign, please do not make a U-turn and wait for the next U-turn slot kasi alam ng city yon na doon yung perfect uh, slot for vehicles to make the U-turn and that is the perfect and safest place na mag U-turn ka as a motorist. Next one is the no overtaking zone. So usually, makikita mo tong no overtaking zone on the highways. We have two signs for the no overtaking zone. It's the one with the red and the black car and the one with the bawal lumusot words. So, this sign prohibits you to make a pass. So, this sign prohibits you to pass through vehicles which are slower than you. Kung nagmamadali ka, hindi ka pwedeng mag-overtake sa part na merong no overtaking zone. Kasi nga, alam ng public safety office, yung part na yon is an accident-prone area or uh, it is a blind spot. So, may mga studies na yung mga yung mga public safety officers natin kung saan pwede at hindi pwede mag-overtake. Kung saan safe at hindi safe na mag-overtake. So, if you're seeing these signs, 
So this means na hindi ka pwedeng mag-overtake. On the next parts of the vlog, i-explain din natin kung ano yung mga meaning ng no, mga different colors sa road mismo. Kung ano yung mga broken white line, yung mga solid yellow lines, yung mga solid white lines, so yung mga yun, i-explain din natin. But this one is makikita mo rin siya usually on the highways and sa mga lugar na maraming tao. The next part of the regulatory signs are the speed limit signs. So, if you can see a number inside a red circle, these are the maximum speed restrictions. Meaning, you can only run for a maximum of 60 or a maximum of 100. In the case of the Philippines, is in kilometers. So, you can only run 60 kilometers per hour or 100 kilometers per hour depende kung ano yung nakalagay na number sa loob ng red na circle on that spot of the road. So, kapag nakita mo tong mga signs na to, basically, may makikita ka rin na follow-up na ganitong sign which means end of the speed restriction. So, meaning, babalik na yung speed restriction doon sa restrictions mismo ng mga types of roads na dinadaanan mo. There is a default speed restrictions for the highways, for the expressways, for the main streets, for an avenue, for, an, for a boulevard, for a street, for a barangay road. So there are different speed restrictions for these different types of roads. So you can also see a minimum speed restriction with the color blue na sign. So, merong number yan. For example, on our presentation, that is 40 and underneath that is the word min, which means minimum. Yan yung minimum na speed na pwede mong itake. So, you cannot run below the minimum speed. The next ones are the parking and stopping signs. Kapag nakita nyo tong sign na to, the letter P with a slash on it, that means no parking. Okay? Bawal pumarada. Bawal kang mag-stay doon. So, no parking. The next one is the no parking tow-away zone sign. So, parked vehicles are legally towed. Kapag nakita ng mga traffic enforcers, na you are illegally parked on a no-parking tow-away zone, they can legally take your car or tow your car away and put it on the junk shop char. <laughs> <laughs> and put it in the impounding area. Iklaim mo na lang yon, so you will have to pay a certain amount depende kung saan ka nahuli and depende kung ano yung sinasabi ng kanilang ordinance. Another one is the no parking anytime Monday to Friday. So meaning, hindi ka pwedeng mag-park doon sa road na yon from Monday to Friday any time of the day. Okay? So that is 24 hours from Monday to Friday. Pagpatak ng Sabado and Sunday, you can legally park on that part of the road. But again, since ang nakaindigay sa ating sign is Monday to Friday, you cannot park on that part of the road. The next one is the no stopping or parking anytime within the yellow box. So the yellow box uh, is usually printed on an intersection. This sign basically tells you to not park inside that yellow box kasi that is either an intersection or a part of the road na importanteng madaanan ng mga tao or ng mga ibang sasakyan which needs to be available at any time of the day. The next one is the right turner cross at broken lines. So vehicles from the left lane may cross the broken line to turn right with the bus or PUJ zone. Another parking signs are the no parking allowed in the following zones. So, merong mga bus stop zones, PUJ or the public utility jeepney zones, stop zones, sorry, and the bus PUJ stop zones. So, kapag may mga nakita kang ganitong signs, bawal kang mag 
part dito sa part na ito kasi ito yung mga uh, stops ng ating mga public utility vehicles. So, these parts of the road must always be available for the public utility vehicles na makakapagparada sila freely. The next ones are allowable parking and loading zone at a given time and place. So, these are signs which gives you bulk amounts of information kung kailan ka pwedeng mag-park on that side of the road at kung anong oras, anong araw. So, when you see a sign which says meter parking, usually wala naman ganyan dito sa province. Kung nakita mo itong 1 hour meter parking, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Saturday, So, this means that you can legally park on that road for only an hour. And if you exceed that hour pass, you will be given a ticket by the Public Safety Division. For the next sign is the 2P, 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. So, meaning you can only park at that part of the road for 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. for two hours only. And after 5.30 p.m. and before 9 a.m., you can park there for unlimited amount of time. The next one is the loading only, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday and 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Saturday. So that part of the road is for loading area only. So you cannot park there from 8.30 to 5.30 p.m. and Monday to Friday and 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Saturday. Depende kung ano yung nakasulat doon sa sign na iyon. And the last sign is the loading and unloading zone. So meaning you can legally stay there and load or unload people or objects or materials on your vehicle for a minimum amount of time. Next sign is the No parking on fire hydrant. So meaning, if you see a fire hydrant near the road, you cannot park within 4 meters from the fire hydrant because that fire hydrant is important for our firefighters to fight fire. So dapat yung part na yun ng road na yun is easily accessible by our firemen any time of the day. Para in case na merong fire on that area, they can easily find the fire hydrant. The next one is no waiting. So kapag nakita mo yung no waiting anytime, huwag ka nang maghintay doon anytime. Okay? Huwag ka nang maghintay. <laughs> o kaya, maghanap ka na ng ibang paghihintayan mo. Okay? And then, no waiting, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Saturday. So, meaning, hindi ka pwedeng mag-wait doon sa mga oras na yun. Before and after those times, pwede ko nang mag-wait. Okay? Pwede mo nang sanghintayin before and after sa mga oras na yun. And the last one is the bawal maghintay anumang oras. So, that is actually the same with the first time, which is no waiting anytime, only in Tagalog. Another one is the no stopping anytime. So, bawal kang mag-stop doon sa part na yon, and kailangan free-flowing ka pa rin or free-flowing lahat ng sasakyan doon sa road na iyon. Kasi, yun nga, bawal. <laughs> okay? Kasi meron tong sign na ito. Another one, another set of uh, loading and unloading zones So, the first sign is di bawal magsakay at magbaba. Hindi ka pwede magsakay ng tao or objects or kahit ano pa man or magbaba from the intersection to the intersection since you can see the arrows at the bottom of the sign. The sign in the middle one is the no loading, unloading anytime on that area only. And the last one is the no loading and unloading anytime. So, there is an arrow again. So, that extends from one intersection to the other intersection. Next one is the load and dimension restriction sign. So, the first one is the no entry for vehicles with more than 2 meters of width. So, kung may nakita kayong tri triangles on either side 
of the sign. So, meaning, yun yung weed na pwedeng makapasok doon sa road na yon. So, binibigyan ka na ng idea kung gaano kakipot yung daan. So, kapag ikaw ay isang vehicle user, dapat alam mo kung gaano siya ka-wide, gaano siya ka-lengthy, and gaano siya kataas. Because the next sign is for no entry for vehicles with 3.5 meters in height. So, yung taas ng vehicle mo should be 3.5 meters or less. Any vehicle na mas mataas na doon, mauuntog na for sure doon sa part na iyon kasi it's either merong barrier sa taas or merong bubungan sa taas. The next one is no entry for vehicles with more than 10 meters in length. So, meaning, hindi pinapayagan yung mga sasakyan na mas mahaba sa 10 meters. It's either merong mga makikipot na turns doon na hindi kakayanin ng mas mahaba pa sa 10 meters na sasakyan or the like. The fourth one is no entry for vehicles with gross axle load of more than 2 tons. So, bawal ang sasakyan na may na mas mabigat ng 2 tons. Okay? And the last one is no entry for vehicles with gross vehicle mass of more than 5 tons. So, yung nakikita nyo to usually on bridges. So, uh, bridges, 25 tons, 10 tons, ganun yung mga kaya nilang i-accommodate na mga load. So, these are the different load and dimension restriction times. Next ones are the used seatbelt. This sign is used for someone to Republic Act 8750 the seatbelt law. Always fasten your seatbelt. Meron man tong sign na ito or wala. If you're using a four-wheel vehicle, always use your seatbelt. Since may mga nakikita naman ako sometimes ng Kalsada Task Force under the Provincial Government of Ilocos or hinuhuli na rin nila yung mga four-wheel vehicles or four or more wheeled vehicles na hindi nagsi-seatbelt yung driver and the passengers. The next sign is no blowing of horns. Bawal bumusina in Tagalog. Ayan. So, usually makikita mo naman to sa mga school area and hospital zones. So, bawal bumusina usually on those parts of the cities or the municipalities. And lastly, our miscellaneous signs. So, these ones are the yellow signs on the roads. So, the first one is be aware of pedestrian crossing. So, meaning, may mga biglang tatawid sa mga part na yun, it's either malapit ka dun sa school or malapit ka dun sa public spaces like markets, public markets, um, auditoriums, and other spaces which the public goes to most of the time. The second one is be aware of children crossing. So, ito is makikita nyo sa sign na to that there are children with bags. So, usually nakikita nyo to before a school zone. Kapag nakita nyo to, as much as possible, you have to slow down already kasi anytime may mga bata na wala namang kamuwang-muwang sa kalsada, na bigla na lang tatawid, okay? Hindi nyo yun maiiwasan since they are still children. Pero if nakita nyo tong sign na to, meaning there is a school zone ahead, you have to slow down and always be aware of the people around you. Next one is the bike lane ahead. So, ito sumikat ito dahil sa pandemic. Dahil marami na nga yung mga nagbabike and may mga bike lanes na usually. Ay specifically sa Manila. So, may mga bike lanes na. So, these are uh, signs for our bike users. And the last one is be aware of persons with disabilities crossing. So, yan naman yung sign nila. Kapag yung part na yon is usually the There are people with disabilities who usually uses that road. So those are the different regulatory signs for road traffic and pavement markings. So this is where our first part of the vlog ends. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something from this vlog. And I hope na yung mga na ishare ko sa inyo na information ngayon is magamit nyo when you are already using the road. So, I hope to see you on the next parts of this vlog and as always, keep smiling and cheers!